Alright guys, I'm back with my review of the Ring of Honor TV show for April 27th, 2013. And I didn't really care too much for this week's show. I thought uh, the main event tag match was good, but it wasn't amazing or anything like that. And the opening tag match, the six-man tag, was just... It was another match that was just kind of okay. Jay Lethal versus Rhett Titus was pretty dead. crowd didn't seem to care about it. It was a hard match to get into, so... I wasn't too impressed with this week's show, but I have to say next week's show is looking really good with Michael Elgin versus Carl Anderson and Kyle O'Reilly versus Davey Richards. So that should be a really good show, but this one um, just didn't really do anything for me. It starts off with Steve Carino in the ring. He's got Jacobs, Compton, and Rhett Titus with him, and he wants three of Ring of Honor's best to come face his three guys. And CNC and BJ Whitmer come out. They all start brawling. CNC dive on Compton and Jacobs, and Carino hands Rhett Titus a piece of chain, and he lays BJ Whitmer out with it, gets the win. Um, afterwards, Scum starts beating these guys up. Elgin and Lethal run down to make the save, and Lethal challenges Rhett Titus to a match. Rhett accepts, so now it's Jay Lethal versus Rhett Titus. Lethal wins with Lethal Injection, which is the first win for Team Ring of Honor over Scum. But it was against a guy who just wrestled a match. So Scum still looks strong here, which I thought was great. Lethal promises to rid Ring of Honor of Steve Carino at Border Wars. They're still advertising Marafuji, but he's out. That kind of sucks. It was supposed to be Davey Richards versus Marafuji at Border Wars, Eddie Edwards versus Ishimori. And Marafuji hurt his knee or something like that, so he can't do the show. We're still getting Ishimori, which is awesome. And I was really disappointed by this. However, the replacement for Mara Fuji is Paul London. That is awesome. I'm very excited to see Paul London back. Um, I don't know. I actually think I prefer this <laughs> over Mara Fuji, to be honest. So it was supposed to be Davy Richards and Eddie Edwards versus the Japanese guys. And then on the TV show, the Japanese guys versus Elgin and Roderick Strong. So now it's just Paul London filling in for Mara Fuji. So we're still going to get the matches with Ishimori, and now we get Paul London as a replacement. I think it's great. Elgin cuts a promo on facing Carl Anderson next week. It was pretty good. I think his promos are improving. Red Dragon promo on Kyle O'Reilly facing Davey Richards next week. Um, the show Steen winning the title at Border Wars last year. And then Nigel McGuinness comes out to have Adam Cole and Jay Briscoe do a contract signing. And I saw this happening, and I was like, what is the purpose of this? They're both baby faces. And then, of course, Steve Carino interrupts. He says the title should be defended against Matt Hardy. <laughs> and he proposes Jay and Cole have a match against Rhino and Hardy for the main event at Border Wars. Jay says, I'll have the match right now. So it's Cole and Briscoe versus Rhino and Hardy. The fans keep throwing Hardy's shirt back into the ring. I thought that was awesome. And Kevin Kelly says Prince Nana will be on commentary next week as he continues his search for another commentator. But I think we all know at Border Wars, Steve Carino's team is going to win. He's going to be the next commentary guy. So I think we all know that's going to happen. Um, Cole accidentally super kicks Jay. Rhino tries to gore Cole. Cole moves out of the way. Jay gets gored. Cole rolls Rhino up for the win. Um... It was a decent match, nothing much to it really. I mean, it was just kind of okay and felt a little bit random. But at the end of the show, they go down the card for Border Wars. They have some promos and stuff, just like they did with Supercard. I'm glad they did this. I thought it really worked for Supercard. Hyped me up for the show, and this is a great idea. So I'm happy they ended the show like that. And overall, it was just uh, kind of average this week. I'd actually say a little below average because I really couldn't get into this episode for some reason. I typically love the Ring of Honor TV show, so um, I don't really know what was up with it. But next week should be a great show with Richards and O'Reilly and Elgin versus Carl Anderson. As far as Border Wars goes, I'm pretty excited about the show. I think they do have some cool matches there, plus the Paul London matches. Um, so I am excited for the show, and I'll be back shortly with my predictions for the Border Wars pay-per-view. So that's my review of the TV show. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on the show in the comments, and thanks for watching.